You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. All right, briefly, I want to, I, I, I want those that, that may go to hell because of, because of a preacher that they are so emotionally attached. I want to show you something, something you don't know. And I've been talking about this thing. See, some preachers are like politicians. <laughs> a lot of foolish followers of politicians have died for politicians because, hey, I am fatigue. You are for Tinubu. I am for B. This, that, 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 that. Please, take, learn a lesson from what I am about to show you. Because a lot of you have become, have become you have formed, you know, some form of, some set of nuisance on the social media. You know, being so highly irresponsible because you're defending a man. You will see what, what, you know, one of these preachers said. And then uh, I hope you will learn a lesson. But before then, I want us to listen to Bishop David Abuye. The, this that I heard from him, my friend, I loved the man before, but he's, it made me, it endeared me to him the more. It endeared him to me the more. You know, there was a time I brought a, a, a video here where he said they don't talk about hellfire, they don't talk about heaven, they don't talk about this and that because it was not given to them to preach messages you must not because you are not sent somebody asked me why is it that in your church they don't talk about uh, rapture it's not that we don't believe it but we are not sent to preach it it's not everything you believe you preach everyone is assigned to a particular way to a particular assignment why is it that we don't preach about hellfire don't we believe it believe it very well satan and all who follow him will go there but we are not sent to preach it and that you know put short something in me about him but for him to say this, listen to me. You are watching your children wearing dress that is showing their lap. Did you see that from our mothers? Did you see that from our fathers? Be ye followers of me as I'm a follower of Christ. Somebody say it doesn't matter. That's why those matters are entering into our lives. You say people are chasing you because you look chaseable. You look chaseable. Your appearance looks chaseable. There are believers, when you see them, you see sanctity. You don't move close to them. You don't know them before, but you start calling them brother, sister, pastor because they look like one i'm not saying that physical appearance is what determines our spirituality but our deep spirituality we reflect in our soul in our conversation in our disposition and even our physical appearance today too many pollutions in the church find young men young believers you can't point out that they are believers because of the way they appear put your ring here put another one here do their hair anyhow did you learn that from jesus jesus didn't dress like unbelievers to win unbelievers the anointing on him was so strong, they couldn't resist it. We have replaced those material appearances to replace the unction that should convict sinners. Yeah, morality has taken a flight through the windows of many churches. So today, people will tell you that the way, the way you dress does not matter. But till we go to heaven, it will always matter. Don't be part of those Christians, ladies that don't wear pants. They don't wear bra anymore. You know they wear skimpy dresses. Who are you? who? What 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 are you selling? What are you advertising? Whatever you are advertising, you know, makes you a daughter of Babylon. You know, this is my first time of uh, hearing about the way you dress coming from this part of the world, the Living Faith Church. Because I want to think that they they made worldly dressing with all due respect, worldly dressing. They made it more advanced. And more acceptable the church i knew many pastors who were strict holiness preachers but they were trying to they were struggling and striving to grow their congregation now in those in the early 90s i think it was in 93 that the winner's chapel started in uh Iano Paja, if i'm not making a mistake Iano Paja, they were under 93 or 90 they had two 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 parishes one was yoruba another one english I've forgotten the name of the of the street now, but one was off New Era Street at Yanukwaja, so I, I know I know very well. The the church, the, the, the Yoruba branch of the church was beside Christian Pentecostal Mission, then CPM Yanukwaja, so I know. So when they they built that you know that one at um ah what was the name of that bus stop now? If I remember the name of the bus stop, because that used to be my area then. So the growth was you know that it, it it, it was like a wildfire. So many preachers thought that if they should also water their, their own messages, come as you are, you know, 
It will be difficult to remove everything. Dress well. You know, cover your hair very well. You know, don't paint. Don't do this one. You, you can wear anything. Come. But many of them found out too that it was not in that. It was not in watering down the messages. So me hearing this one now from Dr. Uh, from Bishop Abioye, maybe I probably have been judging them wrongly. Probably they have been teaching. Probably they have been preaching. Or that this is the time they felt like, no, uh, let us begin to address this thing because we left it un untouched. We didn't talk about it and people have taken undue advantage of it and they have abused it. That women will come to church almost unclad, you know. But that is not the video that I want. Now there was a message that he preached when Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche had a conference in Abuja and he was invited to preach there. So preached a nice message addressing the ministers to everybody to mind his own niche of the gospel. Even though that um, it was almost like that statement he made that they were not giving to preach about hellfire, holiness. Now he says something that triggered Ebel Demina because Ebel Demina felt like that meeting was, that conference was held for him. And that is what I don't understand. But listen to, to that message. Everywhere we go to, we rejoice at the doings of God. It's happening everywhere, all across the globe, including in Canaan land, building mighty structures for Jesus. Everyone, except those who have stomach ache, are not happy with them. Why are they building? Why are they building? God sends us differently to create fear. Why are they talking about prosperity? That's why wicked people can't touch us. They don't only fear our anointing, they fear our resources. They fear our resources and there is nothing they can do about it because we didn't get our resources in crooked ways. What am I saying, brethren? Permit me for keeping you standing, Pastor Paul. I'm saying this, let competition be over. And finally, let each person focus on this assignment. If God sent you as a prophet, stay on there. If he sent you as evangelist, stay on there. If he sends you as a pastor, as a teacher, and on different subjects. Do you know that even among prophets, there are differences? There are prophets that causes. There are prophets that weep. Like Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. Elijah, a killing prophet. And yet God was supporting each of them. To prove that he sent them. Because there are people in the church, who, there are people around who want to kill the church that needs to be killed. So they stand up. There are prophets who teach forgiveness. There are other prophets who teach judgment. They are all doing their jobs. How do I know? God is confirming their word. God is confirming their word. Hallelujah. There are those who teach success. There are those who teach healing. Don't castigate somebody. There are those who teach prosperity. They say every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he sent to preach. You face your own. Face your own. Face your own. Amen. <laughs> you know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. So display your good. Sell your good. Preach your message well. Stay on your assignments. Instead of focusing your eyes on somebody else's assignment. Otherwise, stomach ache will trouble you too much. So after this message was preached, you know, I, I didn't play everything. I just cut out the part that Ebed Damina said was for him. Ebed Damina, in the process of also preaching his own church, he made reference to it and uh, said something about it. Don't even be surprised that a pastor will say that we all have messages. That the church is like a market. Some people are selling spare parts. Some people are selling brushy, brush for paint. Some people are selling food. Some people are selling, uh, what else? Apples. Some people are selling clothes. It's a market. So if a pastor is called to sell clothes, leave him to sell clothes. The one that is called to sell apple, leave him to sell apple. The ones that are called to sell spare parts, leave them to sell spare parts. No, for the prophecy of the scripture, not the prophecies. The scripture is one prophecy. 
Oh, Second Peter chapter one verse nine sixteen. Put sixteen. Nekatoba. First Peter one sixteen. I mean Second Peter one sixteen. For we have not followed cunningly devised fables. This is not we talking. This is Peter talking. The first witnesses of the resurrection. The ones who were there with him when he was on the holy mountain. The ones who were there and had the voice. This is my beloved son. They are now giving an account, and they said, "We have not followed a fairy tale. We have not followed a well scripted." story when we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty next verse I love this I tell you for he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased next verse next verse next verse and this voice which came from heaven we heard we didn't think we heard we actually heard it when we were with him where in the holy mount which was that holy mount mount of transfiguration next verse watch this we have also can we all read like a mass choir lagos want to go we have also a more sure word of singular or plural so the scripture is just one prophecy it's not a market Everybody doesn't have his own. We have one from Genesis to Revelation. How many prophecy? One. We have also a more kibatombe leader. All right. How how do I know that Ebel thought it was for him that they organized the meeting, the conference for Ebel? Of course, said something, and that is where the message. What what I want to tell tell you. You, you you may you will go to hell though because of the pastor you are fighting for. These people will meet themselves at at a you know a point where they they express the love they have for themselves or the respect that they have for themselves. Of course, even though that they disagree, some of them are genuine Christians that will not want to have bitterness in their hearts. But you are having bitterness in the heart for people like us, small people like us that we don't even we we we, we don't even know what harm we are causing your papa. Now listen to what Ebed Damina said. So fathers can laugh at themselves. Fathers can talk to themselves at a level. We ourselves, we understand what we are talking. It's you people that don't understand. And we, we understand. I don't know if you understand. Okay, let me give you an illustration. Not long ago, and uh, I am... I will, I, will be, I will not call names, but I will illustrate. Not long ago, they had a conference in Abuja, and they teamed up to attack me. The whole conference was to attack me. And they brought speakers at that level, so that all of them can rush. One of them even came as ministries like a market, where you have spare part, paint, brush. Eh? All that was to get at me. Are you following? When they finish, me, I can't answer them. I say ministry and church is not a market. We have one message. And my reply finished all of them. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I came in from Johannesburg, South Africa. I got to the airport. And I'm sitting in the lounge with you. Was it with you? It was not with you. Too. Me alone. So I'm sitting in the business lounge. And the first thing is, one of them came into the business lounge and saw me. Hey, Dr. Delmina, so good to see you. I stood up, I said, so good to see you, sir. How are you? He said, you're causing trouble everywhere. I said, what trouble am I causing? And he couldn't say the trouble. Then he said, we need to go back to Washington, D.C. so you can preach for me again like we did before. When we finished talking, he went back to his seat. I'm sitting on my seat. Then that one that said church is market entered the lounge. I didn't see him. He entered and sat down. There's a few minutes he stood up. Dr. Damien, I didn't know you were here. My PA told me you are here. I just came to greet you. So me too, I stood up. I said, ah, it's wonderful to meet you today, man of God. We greeted warmly and laughed. 
Then he went back to his seat and came back and said, they've announced my flight. Now, I don't know whether I should follow you to Uyo or I should go to Abuja. I'm confused. I said, sir, go to Abuja. Me, I'm coming to Abuja. When I come, we will see. He said, make sure we see. If you come to Abuja, you don't see me, it will be a scene. And we hugged. He left and I left. You people think we are fighting. No, we are not fighting. We are speaking in a language that we understand. It's a communication. Because if you misbehave in public, I will correct you in public. Because we don't want people to be misled. I don't know if you understand. No, we are not, we are not fighting. No. Uh -uh. We are talking to ourselves. Because some of the... So from what you have heard now, is it not obvious that you have been fighting a lost cause? You have been wasting your time and you have been breaking your head. You've been, you, ha you have been running around like a foolish person, attacking everybody, calling ev everybody names. Almost some of you would stone somebody like me. If you ever physically meet me on the road, you would want to, you want to kill me. If, if typing, you know, in the comment area was capable of killing the, the persons under whose video you are commenting. I know uh, some of you would have sent letter bomb to this person here. But look at, look at him. He himself is saying that they, that not that they are fighting, you know, but they are simply disagreeing. And if they, are, you know, by his own word, if they misbehave publicly, he would also address them publicly. Now, the same he now, if he says something that does not align with the Bible, with the truth of the Bible, oh, you think that every damn is Holy Spirit, right? He knows everything. So he, he cannot be wrong. You talk, and, and anybody who criticizes him, and he has epitomized criticism. He has epitomized attacking preachers. And so if anybody disagrees with him and, and say, no, this is not what it is, you want to kill the person for Abel Damina. But look at, look at what Abel Damina said. I heard from a politician, he said that no, no permanent enemy in politics. That is why you will see somebody like Fanny Kayode who swore over his dead body that he would never have anything to do with APC. Today, where is he? Wiki said, you know, what would he what would he do with APC government and APC government today? Where is he? One woman in Lagos whose husband was running to become the governor of Lagos under the PDP uh, uh, party. And there was every every chance that he was going to displace the the I think the 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 party then was AD. Now from nowhere suddenly the man was assassinated. They killed the man who killed him remained a mystery to today. But few years down the line, his wife made peace with with the you know with the people that everybody was suspecting. Now you go and put your mouth into that thing, you will be a foolish person. And of and of course, if they pick you up for saying uh, uh, this is the person that did it or these are the people that did it, were you there? But that is what some of you are doing. Even in politics, they say keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. But you. We we'll want to fight, kill, insult, you know, destroy the characters of people because, hey, they touch your spiritual papa. And you know the unfortunate thing, the funny thing is that whilst the person is correcting the errors of other ministers or other believers, or other persons, you love the person. Now, but one day, this person rams into your own daddy, 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 papa, papa, papa. Now, you will lose control and you begin to malfunction. You heard what about Damina said. Stay away from these things. Don't fight for anybody. And don't defend what you don't know. Don't accuse anybody also of what you are not sure of. Thank you and God bless you. You see why, you know why you are doing like that? It's because you have not, it, it's been long you heard the true gospel. It's been long you heard the gospel according to the character of Jesus. Because the Bible says, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. The mind that was in Christ Jesus was not the mind that abuses people. Even when Jesus was tempted, tried, persecuted, the Bible said he never opened his mouth. Today, your papas are hounding people into police stations, using their influences and their money to threaten people, and you are clapping for them. They will tell you that the Lord told them to go after anybody that insults them, and you are clapping for them. And you wouldn't question which Lord would say that. The Lord that laid his life as an example for us, the three, the 33 and a half years he lived here was for us to understand that with proper submission unto under his hand, 
we can also be like him. It is possible. It is possible. The Bible said that when he was reviled, he opened not his mouth. Apostle, Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, Brother Stephen, who was just an ordinary deacon, or, or, or at, uh, you know, while he was dying, he was praying for those that were killing him. And we have forgotten recompense no man evil for evil. But today, uh, the, the same Lord will arise and, and tell a pastor to go use police and arrest people, destroy people. While he himself also was busy, busy has been busy calling other people names, criticizing other people. The Lord told him, that is why you are misbehaving. Because you are drinking from a polluted a polluted a polluted fount so those of you who are who are lovers of jesus please continue there is a reward the lord is coming and that's very soon god bless each and every one of you i'm out of here see you in the next video today from me to you shalom